What up guys, GH here. Today I'm gonna show you guys the newest raid dungeon in solo and maybe give you guys a few tips on how to beat them in case you're interested in the accessories that can be obtained by farming that place. And with that said, this is Lepidoptera Junction Raid Dungeon. Let's do this. Okay, let me just buff up first. Okay guys, here in this first area, what you need to do here is just defeat all the monsters before it will allow you to proceed to the next area. You see that energy purple attack that you just did? Avoid that because that's very strong. It might get you in trouble. Now there's a countdown. What's gonna happen is it's gonna generate an electric field, a circle electric field that will do damage if you step on it. And that electric field will stay there until the end of the fight. So place it in a decent place, not like what I did. <laughs> I just ignored it. that purple electric field that he just used. Avoid stepping on that because that will do damage obviously. And eventually it will disappear in like the countdown electric field. Okay now do you see that circle space that I'm stepping on right now? The reason I'm staying there is because I don't. It will summon monsters that will keep attacking me and it hits really hard. So, when you see this space, it kind of looks like the electric field, step on it. Because when you step on it, for about 10 to 15 seconds, it will disappear. And if you don't step on it, it will keep on summoning and summoning until you can't manage it anymore. Like There you go again, the circle summoning space. You need to step on there and stay there until it disappears. So that it wouldn't summon anything. Okay, now there's that stupid black orbs. Eliminate those ASAP because if you don't and it get near the boss, it will keep buffing her until it reach as if I'm correct 16 stacks or 15 I don't know I don't really get to see it that much anyway if it gets to 16 stacks it will use a skill that will most likely one hit you let's just say that it got to 16 stacks and then it's going to attack you now it's gonna telegraph it. it there's a bar a yellow bar that's gonna appear and then we get when it gets to the end it's gonna use the scale good thing is iframes works on that so just use your iframe and you won't get hit okay and that's bug number one she almost got me by the end Okay, now let's go to the next area. We will be fighting bug number two. 
You see that green raining energy attacks? Avoid that because if it hits you, it will reverse your controls. If you press up, it will go down. If you press down, it will go up. And yeah, in this boss fight, keep moving because if you stay still, the chances of you getting hit by one of its skills is going to be really high. So just keep moving. You see that attack that she just did? That's a really OP attack. Avoid that at all costs. Now you see that purple icon above my head? That's an indication that she will use swap skill on me. And then after that, she will use a petrify AOE. A huge petrify AOE. Just run away. Run away as far as you can. Because if you get petrified, she will use another skill. A cone skill that will pull you. And then after that, it's game over. Because she's gonna one hit you. Now there's a red arrow icon pointing down on me. That's an indication that she will use the purple area attack, the spinning area attack. Don't spread that area attack around because that will stay until the end of the fight. So just spread it around the corners or use an iframe so that the area attacks will stay in one place. Just make sure to jump up fast because those purple area attacks hit really hard. Okay, again, she's gonna swap me. By the way, guys, iframes do not work on this, even on the Petrify and the Cone. Do not use iframe there because it doesn't work. But I think what you can do there is before she swaps you, try to go invisible. Use cloaking or something and see if she will still swap you. Because if she can't swap you, she's not gonna use Petrify and the Cone attack. So, yeah. Ah, me, I'm gonna hardcore this. <laughs> you see that big ass mushroom monster? Just kill him. After you defeat that mushroom, he's gonna spawn some little mushroom and then just kill him. Occasionally, she will turn you into a moth, or I don't know, is that a bath? I think that's a moth. Just run away. Okay, now this blinky red warning area attack. That's a stun, then she will lift you up and then smash you. It's not that strong, but it will make you unable to move. Nice. 
And that's it, that's bug number two. I hope this will help you. And if you have any more questions, just ask in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit that like button, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.